Good morning. I'm sitting now next to Jaffa Gate. I can see it. You will see it soon. And I will um, build it together with you from the 16th century until, um, let's say, 19, uh, 19th century. And you will be able to see how beautiful it is and the meaning of Jaffa Gate. Then I will use pictures from uh, a book, that, an album that I love. Uh, sadly, it's in uh, Hebrew. I have no clue that you can buy it in, uh, um, outside of Israel. But now you will be able to see it. Uh, I will write the name of the book at the description of it, and you will be able uh, to see. Uh, I don't know, to maybe maybe you will be able to buy it as well. I'm using the first pictures ever of Jerusalem. I, there's a million pictures of Jaffa Gate, but um, I think it's going to be beautiful to see uh, the most ancient part of it. Then, Jaffa Gate is just right here. Look how many people entering now to Jaffa Gate. Sadly, if I'm here, it means that I'm not working. I'm trying to divide myself into two. A tour guide or, uh, or uh, the one who's taking videos. I'm trying to combine it between those two, it's not so easy. Then, if you want to support my channel, you can do that via the, um, beneath the video, you can see at the place that you can put the like, you can push the like, um, uh, a kind of a hard symbol, uh, it's called super thanks, and then you can actually thank me for supporting me for that. And there's more um, at buy me a coffee link, and at um, PayPal, which is at the description. If you want to find it, I will be happy to send you the link. But now the video. Then in that case, there are eight gates of Jerusalem. One of them is sealed, the Golden Gate. And um, some of them are open. The two most important gates were Damascus Gate. And the uh, second most important gate was Jaffa Gate. But Jaffa Gate became to be a very important because of the neighborhoods that were built around it. And it's the way to Jaffa. Then, in that case, so many people now entering through that gate. The gate itself was built in the 16th century by the Suleiman, the uh, um, uh, Sultan. You can see the entrance of it. And you cannot go um, straight into it. You have to turn left because the gates were built for enemies to avoid enemies from entering the city. Um, most of the time it was closed and when it was closed people had to sleep outside uh, Jaffa Gate. And I talked about it in a different video that I made about Heaven Road. Um, let's look at the, one of the most ancient um, pictures of it and this is the one. You can see that at 1870, no one actually maintained that gate here. You can see the symbol of the of Turkey, of the Ottomans, the moon and the star, a small kiosk, or I don't know what, and a private area. You can see the entrance and the gate. Another thing that you can see from here is a cannon. That world we can see here. Oh, one more thing is that you can see here the wall that no one could enter the city from here. Today, you can actually see the wall. I can see um, a road, a cars are entering now through Jaffa Gate in 1889. The Kaiser, the German Kaiser, came to here and he said, I don't want to. Uh, enter the city while I will walk. I want to enter with my wife, Augusta Victoria, with a carriage. And the Ottomans actually covered the moat that used to be here and built on top of it the road and destroyed part of the wall and and um, built the, um, uh, a road that we are still using. Then, when you are entering the city, please be careful. There are so many cars, scooters in the city, even in small alleys. Now when you know it, 
you can see that there's no star in the moon anymore because when the British came, they took it off. New regime, new rules. In 1983, you can see the main entrance. Look at that, that um, kind of shop. That shop used to be to the left of the road, right there. And it actually left us a mark of the roof, right there. I will try to show it to you from a better place. But it's, I'm trying to touch it, right there. And, you can see another thing here that Cook was one of the tourist office all over the world and even here there's so many stories about it. In 1896 it looks the same, you see carriages and remember the, the uh, private area it was right here but it was it's closed with fans. This is the main entrance and the market is still on, we are talking about three years later and now we are at 1900 the moat the moat the wall is already open for the Kaiser but instead of the private place you can see here a building and that was kind of a um, parking lot or um, carriage kind of bus station of carriages from all over the shop is still here I can see here a lot of uh, fruit and vegetables, but you can see another thing. First of all, the cannon was here, then it been covered, and the, uh, the cannon is, let me see, can see it. Let me, later on I will show it to you, but it's, the trees are here, it is. That is the upper part of it. The trees that were planted here, the idea was nice that it will have shape, but it's actually, destroying the view and the British did something very beautiful with it and you will see it so then here you can see that it 1900 houses attached the wall all over the wall here you could see houses and in 1910 another thing you can see here wait a minute all right you can see the houses the shop is still here but now the private house looks different you can see the triangle roof which is attached to that build, that wall and we're gonna see it soon I'm staying here because of the uh, of the angle it's the same angle and on top of Jaffa gate you can see the clock tower it's supposed to be there but the British didn't like it then they took it off they did another thing they destroy every house that used to be here. At the right side, you can see that there are two people standing there. Uh, that was a Seville, right here. And it's gone to British took it down. And inside the house, you will see the Grand New Hotel. And remember the building that was attached to here? And now when you know it, let's actually go to that area and I show you everything. Later on, the second part of the video will be of the Java Gate from the other side. Are we ready to go? Yes, we are. Yeah, let's go. Uh, from here it was better, but there was a seat there, a bench. And it's nice to sit. Um, remember that the British turned down all the houses. I think that they made us something very good because now we can see the walls. But I don't know why the city of Jerusalem wants to hide that square from us by building unnecessary trees because it's not like we're going to be here for hours. I mean, the groups, uh, we're going to take some pictures. We're going to explain there for five minutes and then we will continue. But it will be more and more difficult to talk about. Remember the cannon was right there. You can see the upper window of it. Later on, it was covered. And the music. I mean, when I'm taking groups with their 
I'm actually dancing with him. But now it's actually a nice background. I hope that uh, YouTube <laughs> will. Uh, one thing that I actually added music in it. Remember the vegetable hat house, whatever you can call it. That you can see the mark that he left here of the roof goes all the way to here. And this is this is the main entrance. And you saw a picture from 1870 with a star and the moon that are not exist now. Another mark of the roof will be right there. Let's go a little bit better. Usually I'm dancing, but I don't want to dance now. <laughs> ah, you see the trees are not helping me. You can see the mark of it. And the clock tower was above it. Can Cannon from the Ottoman style. Houses at the Ottoman style. Clock tower from there. And look how many entry and people entering now the city. Let me show you the mode. That used to be the moat. I took another video of it and look for the video that I will upload. I uploaded like let's say one two video before the video that we are now watching. And that was the moat, first uh, the first wall of the city and the fortress of King Herod. The wall was here too, and you will see the wall from the other side. Then we are going now into the city, but not before. I want you to see another picture. Here it is. Here's the Greek one now. Zorba. That's here. You could see the Seville de Fontaine, the Muslim Fontaine, which is not here anymore. The clock tower was right here. And the house, roof of the house, is right here. And that picture was taken at 1910 from here. But let's go in to to the city. And let's find us a place to sit, although it's going to be under the sun. Welcome to the old city. Let's go a little bit further. Wow, well, the city is full of tourists. It's beautiful to see it. Grand Hotel is right here, the Age Imperial Hotel. And that you can see it again from other places. We are now walking on the moat of the fortress that used to be here. And let's use that sticky scooter. Uh, I hope that you won't kill me for that. If we're looking at that picture, we can see Jaffa Gate from the inside side. This is part of the wall, which was right there. And you can see the entrance of the gate from the other side, from the inside which is right there. Those buildings weren't here at all, and there was no pavement. Look how strange it looked to be. This is one of the most ancient pictures in the world, and of course of Jerusalem from 1856. We are now more or less at the same angle. It's already 1910. We can see the clock tower, which is right here. Now, we can actually go through the road that was built for the Kaiser. The main entrance is here, and the houses are already there, but the first one, first one is in the same shape. The second one is already different. You can see that it's not like, it's not like that building. And a lot of salesmen 
Jews, Arabs are here walking here and houses outside the walls still exist, not anymore. Today it's a shopping mall of Manila. Oh. I don't know if you saw it, I don't know when you I think you saw it, but just if in case clock tower is here, houses outside um, outside the wall. Um, the street is right here and you can see it from here. The clock tower is not here anymore, the road is already exist. In nineteen ten the houses is more or less here and you can see a little bit of the Grand New Hotel, which is now Imperial Hotel. Let's look at another picture. One more picture from 1910. You can see the entrance, but I'm standing more or less in the same place. The entrance to the gate uh, from the 16th century, the clock tower here. Uh, you can see the salesmen are walking right here. And here you can see the grand new hotel. And look how beautiful is the balcony here. Right there. So there, there is a nice rooftop, but the balcony that you saw is gone. Right there, 1905, you can see that there are lots of people who sells their products in the moat. And let me show you where's the moat. Oops. Uh, we have to go to the other side then. Let me go ex to the exact spot. I'm going to show it to you again. Until then, you see the people standing right there. Um, don't miss that viewpoint. Go in. It's the Christian Information Center climb up to the roof of five shuttles you can use the elevator and uh, watch the view you can actually enter to David Citadel and climb up to see the view but there's no elevator and I think it costs 15 shekels and not five shekels I can save you money why not then the market is more or less here minute here it is how do you know that it's more or less here because you can see the grand hotel right there this is the grand hotel the mode is from the 12th century That moat was used by anyone who occupied this city because it's the highest place of the city. Uh, for example, here you can see uh, Herod's time, above the Arabic time. Here you can see 12th century crusader moat. And uh, at the end there you can see one of the pools of King Herod. And you will stand there, but you have to cross the street. I'll be able to show you where General Allenby, the British general, 
who entered to here to the city in 1970, December 1970, uh, had a speech. First of all, not like the Kaiser, he entered to the city while he was walking to owner. If he said Jesus was walking, he didn't use the horse. Then, this is the stage. You can see the entrance to Jaffa Gate right in front of you. And you can see here the speech. German Allenby addressing Jerusalem. And he said everything will be better now. That used to be a police station at the time of the Ottomans, British and still at Israeli time. And you can see here the Ottomans in the Kishle, that's the name of it. There, you saw 21 minutes of, um, of Jaffa Gate, but let me show you a few more pictures. Are you okay with that? Meanwhile, well, I will go back outside the wall. Oh, forgot to mention it. Right there, it's Christ Church, which is nice, but to the right of it, it's a very good coffee place and a very clean restaurant. And if you need something to drink and to eat, that can be a very good idea. It's not cheap, but it's worth it. Then, back to the mode. This is the time to um, subscribe. I do more than 20,000 videos of Jerusalem and I want you to watch as much as you can, of course. So many people are here. I'm so happy to see it. If you want me, uh, if you want me to be your tour guide, just write me a message, um, and I will be more than happy to do that. And if you want, I will take a video of you as well and upload it, upload it to YouTube. Then you will have another present from me. Of course, I'm not going to charge for it. This is a present. And remember, moat. You saw the wall here, but now we can actually use it. And this one is even crazier than me. His name is Itamar, Itamar. <laughs> Running into Again, next to the music, but I want to show you some pictures. Look how many people are here. Okay, the moat was right there. That's now the road. And uh, Ottoman flag was on top of that. In that picture, you can see that the moat was wider than that and the street was quite narrow. And this is from 1823. You can see that building. And to the right of it, you could see the Austrian post office, which is today the Catholic right. Museum with the second best view of uh, Jerusalem, which is a must. I want you to remember those shops. 
and to understand how narrow that street used to be looked like. And I will take you there right now. Done. The moat was wider than that, and that here you can see the mark of it. Remember the street was narrow? I know that I'm standing on the road now. Then the market was wider than that. Beautiful, isn't it? That window is part of, now it's called Petra Road. But you can see a lot of uh, uh, advertising. That, for example, used to be the agency of Cook. It's like uh, the biggest uh, tourist agency in the world at that time. And the shops, I'm standing on it, those shops. We are at 1905, you can see here, that is the Cologne, the, the tower. And to the left of the tower, there's a beautiful building. And I'm standing at another building, which is the first one. Look at the market in front of the gate. And if I want to tell you that that building is the same one, you will see here a street, beautiful street. And look how, look at the British, in, British army entry, British troops entering to Jerusalem in 1917. And what you don't know is that the houses were attached the wall. And the other side as well. And at that gate, the British took it off. That man is now talking about, as I believe, Jesus. There's so many like him in the city. I will go next to him to hear if it's true or not. I accept it. This is part of the city view. This is the same word that came to you. That has gone out to all the world. So that you might believe. So that you might be saved. So that you might yeah. walk in righteousness. Walking in the light. And thank you very much for being with me and see you in my next video. Bye bye. Everyone